Ah, oh, who's excited for a 3DS adventure? Now, if you want to compare this game to the first Dragon Quest Monsters, this is the remake of Dragon Quest Monsters. Come on! Cut it out, will you? It's way past your bedtime. I finally got you! Ugh, you are such a child sometimes. Come along now, did you forget what mom and dad told us? When children stay up too late, that's when monsters come to take them away. What? You think that would be cool? Good grief, stop talking all this nonsense now. You go to bed this Instant. Aww. We're all just like, huh. Good night, little brother. That mischievous little grin, the little boy quietly slips out from his bed. <laughs> There's a difficult looking book here. Just as expected, let's uh, let's set the book down. There's a book called The Children's Tale. Once upon a time, a little boy and a little girl lived in a village. The little boy started dozing off and quickly closed the book. It's a notebook labeled Millie's Diary. How sitting again today. I hope no monsters come out to bother us. Aw, something written on the plushies of small cute letters. Property of Millie. Oh, look, it's a hammer hood and a, a teeny sanguini. There's a book called the Monster Encyclopedia, but nothing is written inside. Who might have started writing this? Huh. Odd. Remember that. Hmm, I wonder what the game wants us to interact with. Little boy tried opening the door, but he isn't sure how to unlock it. Narnia! Oh my god! Hmm? Hey kid, is your name Millie? No, that can't be right. Millie should be a girl if I remember correctly. Well, whatever then, I've got no use for that you, I suppose. Nope. Hey, hey, hey. The name's Rotney. Rotney of the Kingdom of Great Log. Don't you forget it, you little brat. That is Warabu. And the original. Now, back to what I actually came here for. Jackpot. <laughs> Say goodbye to your precious sister. So long, brat. Don't have too much fun in there. <sighs> Kerfuffle. Now where can Millie have gone? Kerfuffle, kerfluffle. Sorry, it's kerfluffle. Oh goodness, what are you doing in there, little boy? Here, allow me to give you a hand with that.
Well, now you understand the monster's tongue. Would you happen to know where I can find someone named Millie? What? She was just kidnapped. Oh no, then it's just as I feared. I've arrived too late. Rodney? Oh, that's not my name. My name is Cotney. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> oh, you just want to know where your sister went, do you? Then you better come along with me. I think I may have known of a way to find her whereabouts. You sure got you've sure got some potential, little boy. I bet you'd make one heck of a monster scout. You don't know what that is? Ha. Well, then what are we waiting for? Let's hurry. <laughs> Think of a name for us, by the way. We'll be naming ourselves very soon. You want it to be Boop? I mean, we can if you want. Ah, you must be Cotney's new friend, eh? Well, it's a pleasure meeting you, child. Ho, ho, ho! What's that? Where are you? You ask why? This is the Kingdom of Great Tree. Cotney brought you here through that dresser back in your bedroom. And I think we better get a move on. I've been told His Majesty awaits you in the castle. Ah, uh, I wasn't sure because you just all of a sudden said boop. kingdom built atop this gigantic tree. Of course, his highness's castle resides up in the highest part of the tree. We best not keep his highness waiting much longer. Let us continue onwards. Gramps, yeah, boy, the new scout will go on April ice. Indeed he is. We are actually on our way to meet with his highness this very moment. Boy, I'll be keeping an eye out for you in the tourney. Alright, we have arrived now. Head on inside the castle. His Majesty is eagerly awaiting your arrival inside. He's the king of great tree. Cool. Hey, hold it right there. My uncle lives across that bridge over there, and I can't let you cross it right now. Sorry, when the tree shook, the bridge started to break. Perhaps you could help me find a way over. Welcome, I am the Chancellor of the Kingdom of Great Tree. You must be Cotney's new recruit. I've been hearing about His Majesty's a bit troubled at the moment. If you'd follow me, I would like to ask you for a favor, if you may. Bum -bum. Fortunately, we have the issues of stuttering games again. Really unfortunate, but that's the nature of Citra.
Ah, so you're the new scout I've heard about. Welcome, I am the King of Great Tree. Now, uh, what name do you go by again? Alright, what's the name you chose? Damn. Or Damon. Are you going with Damon? Ah, Damien. Got it. Damien, was it? Splendid! Now I know this may seem a bit sudden, but please, you must hear my request. I've just got one little favor to ask and nothing more. The Starry Night Tournament is approaching a festival where world-renowned scouts battle. I'd like you to win it. What's that? You'd rather not be wasting time while you search for your missing sister? Well then, here, I thought you'd come here for, to fulfill my humble request, but I'm mistaken, it would seem. <laughs> That's it, I've got it! This is actually a fairly simple way for you to see her again. Become the Grand Champion of the entire Sorry Night Tournament! As legend would have it, the Champion of the Tournament is said to have any one wish granted. If you win the tournament, you can use that wish to have it returned to you. And in doing so, you'll be doing me a favor as well. So then, I say, seek out victory in this tournament and you shall find your sister. All right then, boy, before you get started, you better, you're gonna need one of these. From this day forward, you are now a scout of Great Tree. Now stop by my farm, you'll need one of my monsters. This is for over by the castle's entrance. You'll see them marked on the lower screen. Go see Pulio. Pulio. Dang. I actually have to get permission to open those. Rude. Bye. Anyway, to the monster farm. Okay, this is the monster farm. Well, obviously. Hey, young scout, do you think I'll be able to find anything worthwhile from up here? Anything I catch, I'll leave in that treasure chest. We got a mini metal. Hello there, I'm Cross Eye. Feed me lots of meat. Oh, my sweet lips, why have we got such distant places? My first time home from work in months, how could this be happening? I heard the story about Pulio letting all of the monsters escape from the farm. I guess I could have. Get better watch myself, eh? Oh, well, that's how it goes. Sly, here, yeah, that boy here is Vamagulio. What do you want? Did you come take the monsters away? No. Well, then you're a scout, so you must be here to pick up a monster. I'm Pulio, I'm in charge of this farm. Nice to meet you. At the farm, you can drop off your monster cam champion companions, pick them up, and so on. For starters, choose man's stream to add the monster slimy to your body. If there's anything you don't understand, press the Y button. Looks like Slimey will make a good companion. You should go report to the king then. I'm about Slimey being the only one here. Um, don't worry too much about that. Mm -hmm. Now you can save the game. Except during certain events. I'm excited to see what the uh, Traveler's Gates are like. Uh, no, no, no. 
Ugh. Slime, there's no mistaking it. That's my father's adored pet, Slimy, isn't it? Damien, how on earth did you acquire that particular monster? What? There were no other monsters available? Blasted, that Pulio really has done it this time. I think nearly all my monsters escaped from the farm is unheard of. This is an outrage. I will not tolerate this insolence. Gods, send for Pulio this instant. Ah, please, your majesty, please grant me your forgiveness. Pulio, tell me, did my little Healy escape from the farm along with all the others? Forgive me, your highness Healy, my to escape with all the other monsters. You, how careless. Total insolence, oh, my precious little Healy. No, I will not forgive this ignorant, careless behavior. Gods, throw this fool into the dungeon immediately. Oh, what is it, Damien? Is there something you wish to say on this matter? I see. So you wish to do me a favor, and in exchange, have me pardon Pulio of his punishment. Well then, you mean to say you're willing to find my Healy and return him to back to my farm? That is very noble of you, Damien. In that case, I shall grant Pulio this one opportunity. Your Highness! Pulio has reportedly seen escaping into the traveler gates you recently unlocked. I see. Damien, your next step should be to go inside the departure gate in the basement. Should you retrieve my precious little Healy, I shall pardon Pulio of his punishment. And do as you please with the treasure chest inside the castle's storage room. Well then, I am very busy, so if you'll excuse me. Busy, 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 busy. Damien, thank you for doing this to me. Uh, I may be small, but I thought of something that may help you on your adventure. You can find things in your traveler's tips. Just the tips? Five medicinal herbs. And a cypress staff. Oh, it appears you found a weapon! Would you like to hear how to properly equip it? No. Just checking. Nope, that's strategy. Dun 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 <laughs> By examining pillars like this, you can use, you can learn useful things. We learn Zoom, Damien. That red object beside me is the departure gate. A vast world extends beyond the gate. Please be careful. Our first place. I choose blue. Damien, alas, your adventure has begun. Welcome to the world inside the Traveler's Gates. As a monster scout, your focus lies solely on scouting and training monsters to build yourself a strong team. To do that, travel through the Traveler's Gates. Use your own monsters to scout and defeat enemies along the way. Those first steps can be scary, so I'll teach you the basics to scouting. First start is try fighting and winning against one of the monsters. 
But when you enter them, we'll start a battle. Don't let your guard down just because they seem weak. Easy peasy lemon for breezy. <sighs> That's it. I've got a good feeling about it. Keep beating the enemies to make your team stronger, okay? Next up, you need to practice scouting. Scouting is an essential skill. So just scout. Sometimes you'll be unsuccessful. If you keep being patient, you'll get it. Ah, damn, it looks like you picked up an item. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A pretty pebble. Look at that long tongue. <laughs> Guzzle. It's Auntie Guzzle! Way to go, Damien! Looks like the scouting went off without a hitch! As you gain companions, your party will fill up, and that'll put my mind at ease. Just keep adding companions like that and training them well. Right, you must be a bit worn out for the first time, so allow me to restore your team. Oh, that's all about I can teach you, so just keep learning as you journey. You see that well over in the distance? That well connects to deeper levels of this Traveler's Gate. So our goal is to find the well and jump in. Inside the Traveler's Gate, you should steadily go down such wells to find them and advance towards the gate's end. Something awaits at the bottom of all the wells. You'll have to discover what it is with your own two eyes. Now then, Damien, I'll be rooting for you all the way. So go give it your best shot. So, uh, the first time I played this, I got super superiorly lucky. Like, we got a rank B monster very early in the game. It was a, like, 3-5% to 5 chance scout. And we got it. You know what that means, right? We got a 3-5% to 5 chance monster at the beginning of the game. That is unheard of. <laughs> and because it was, you know, a rank B monster, anything we bred with it instantly became a, uh, a significantly stronger and higher monster. Fifty point five. <laughs> Do 
Doesn't all this classic DQ music just bring back good memories, yo? We're talking classic. We're talking OG, baby. At least this one's a lot easier to get, like, encounters, not get encounters, etc, etc. Because obviously you can see the monsters and avoid them if you so desire. We're gonna leave this top floor here really soon. Not yet, but soon. Yay. I love how we just jump. Also, at the bottom, it tells you, uh, like how deep the thing is. So, this is basement. We're on floor two out of four. So it's always constantly telling you. And you don't have to open up a map to see the map. You know, because the map's always there. So there's a lot of quality of life that this game has. That's, like, significant quality of life. Also, having four monsters is cool. But you also have to contend with a lot more monsters are considered two or three uh, sized. I think there's even a four size monster too. Oh, excuse me. I would like a couple more levels on each person. If possible. If not, that's, you know, the way the cookie crumbles, but... We don't want to be here forever, you know? <laughs> it's an anteater! What's wrong with anteaters? They eat ants! They have to have that long tongue to stick into, like, termite holes or ant holes and just be able to fish out those ants. Hey, I mean, I could have described it much differently and you would hate it even more. So, you should thank me. Chicken attack! Chicken attack! Bludgerigger! The Bludgerigger! Oh, my back. Oh, my back. Ledger. There we go, we got a full team of four. What would you think of this emotive? It's something I've always wanted to try, but I'm not artistic enough to try it, nor am I good enough in the kitchen to be able to make it work. But, um, you know how people have, like, a, uh, a, a hamburger, but, like, the inside is stuffed with, like, 
uh, cheese and bacon. You know, it's like a uh, bacon cheeseburger stuffed burger. Could I do the same thing, except for instead of uh, cheese and bacon, if I instead put uh, marinara sauce, uh, some mozzarella, and some pepperoni, and make a pizza burger? Will you help me make the ultimate pizza burger? Yes! And then you're gonna help me think up a bit. Uh, bit, 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 bit. Then you're gonna help me think up a, a, a bit. Oh my god. Words are difficult. Uh, the ultimate side burger, and then the ultimate pizza burger. Or not pizza burger. Uh, the ultimate side burger, so like a side that you would have like with a pizza or something like, you know, like the ultimate cheesy breadstick burger, and then a dessert burger. I want to make a dessert burger. A meaty dessert burger. Why? Because I'm insane. Is the oh my god because I'm crazy or because you love the idea? Well, I said help me. You don't have to actually eat it. <laughs> I fully expect to be the only one. Fruity, eh? I, I'm intrigued. Have you ever had those fruit dessert pizzas before? It's like, so it's like a, a dessert dough base. And then it's got like a, um, it's got like a fruit dessert spread. And then it's topped with, you know, like strawberries, grapes, pineapple. It's not warm. It's cold. The only warm pies I like are pumpkin pie. And even then, it's more like 90% whipped cream, 10% pumpkin pie. So I have a whipped cream with a side of pie. I'm gonna miss my whipped cream this year. Really sad, but, you know, whatever. I actually enjoy whip, uh, pumpkin pie a lot more now that I'm older than when I was younger. So, in most other games, you may remember that whenever we had, like, it was like, oh, this is four floors. You get to the fourth floor, and then that fifth floor was the basement. The way this goes is if it says it's four floors, that fourth floor is the boss floor. No. Why? Well, I don't want a frozen pie. I want my family to make a pie, and then I desecrate it by smothering it in whipped cream. That's the only way to do it.
Alright, so you also know you're on the bottom floor when there's a Healy station. Obviously, we'll do that later. Uh, I would love some homemade whipped cream and chocolate mouse. Sign me up for the double chocolate mouse, please. Yeah, that's what I said, mouse. Yeah, that's what I said, mouse. I know. I was refusing to let you win by having me correctly pronounce the dessert. So. Jokes on you for thinking I didn't actually know how, how you spell chocolate mousse. I don't know, you seemed pretty fired up that I was calling it a chocolate mouse. I mean, come on, I'm, I'm a Harry Potter fan, you know? They eat chocolate frogs, why not chocolate mouses? I'm waiting for your ew comment. You walked right into that one. <laughs> I didn't realize there were wax murderers here. Oh, by the way, there is a day-night cycle in this game, too. The longer you're on the floor, the longer, the more likely it'll uh, flip day night, and then obviously back night day. But I do have to say, this game is incredibly picturesque. It's just beautiful, and they just. They really brought to life these dungeons that you're exploring, you know? It's just like, there's something to see. They've just constantly been invading and making it better. It's like, they never stopped making it better. What's funny is, the Ant Guzzler has always looked like that, even in the original game. That tongue was still crazy. It just didn't move. We'll be back here for that Healy thingy. We're still exploring the rest and getting into random fights. I'd like to get everyone to level 5 before we actually go fight the boss, though. So that all we have left is the, uh, Drachy, I believe. And the Bludger Ridger. No, the Bludger Ridger Ridger got there first. Or before the Drachy. Me. Oh, the wax murderer.
ta 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 I believe we caught everything that we possibly can on the first level. Which is perfect! Now we just need our Draki to hit level 5. And we'll hit the last floor. We're so close. Okay. Well, Bludgeridge regular girl level. We want Draki though. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Dracky boo. Grow a level oo. Doer's gonna do anything, but let's pop over here, heal, and go get Healy, yo. Like this traveler's gate ends at the bottom of the well. Will you hop into the well? Yes, yes, we will. So, how do you do, Haley? That's me! Came here to catch me, did ya? Well, you can forget it. Tom is so boring, I never want to go back there. Might have been over prepared for that fight. 
By a little bit. Go away, how do you do that? Wow, you sure are strong. I like how you work, Damien. I guess I wouldn't mind tagging along with you. I look forward to traveling together, Damien. You did it, Damien. Now, take us back to the castle. You can bring Healy back to his highness. Healy. Ah, uh, Damien, you've returned from the departure gate already? So quickly to learn, you must be the most brilliant scout we've had in over 1,000 years! That's a bit much! Ha <laughs> I got carried away, didn't I? But it's true, you've got some great potential. Now, Damien, I presume you'll be presenting my little Healy to me at once. What? Helia said that he no longer desires to live on my farm? He would rather tag along with you and your new team. Is this the truth? Well then, Healy, if leaving here has truly been that awful of an experience for you. Alright, then what other choice do I have? I grant Healy his permission to go free and fight alongside you. In return, that you'll continue to train as all kingdom for representation in the Starry Night Tournament. And of course, as I promised, I hereby pardon Pudio of his crime and accompanying punishment. Oh, thank you, Damien. Now I can go back to my job on the farm. I owe you big time. Damien, I encourage you to head over towards the Battle Arena, just down the stairs outside the castle. You have several challengers awaiting you inside who also wish to be the sole representative of our kingdom. If you're able to defeat all their teams, you'll be granted into the Starry Night Tournament. Now then, I am very busy, so if you'll excuse me. Busy, 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 busy. May the spirit of Great Tree continue to guide Damien safely on his journey. Now leave the castle fall and stairs downward until you reach the door in the arena's alley. And remember, if you're emerged victorious, you'll be entered in the first round of the Sorry Night Tournament. And don't forget, we... will be playing the post-game for this game. Because it's actually got story and plot. And I beat it once, so I should be able to beat it again. Have you ever, have you ever wondered how many mini medals you have? Yes. Oh, then just head up this hill. You'll be rewarded. Okay. Have you ever picked up a mini idol? That's my favorite thing to find. When I was young, I used to try venture through Traveler's Gates just trying to find them. I'm crazy about mini medals. Why, I wonder who lives here? Oh, well, Metzger. <clears throat> I'm the Metal King. I collect the mini medals you see have scattered about our world and the many others out there. If you find one somewhere along, will you bring it to me, won't you? I'll give you a different reward for every new milestone you reach. I'll be waiting for you. Busy, busy, busy. That have received one medal. If you give me five, I'll give you the aha spear. Well, you look suspicious, sir. Pops and I both love medals. If I go, if go bring a medal, he'll reward you handsomely. Go liked a lot, and I'll have some splat for go too. This game does confirm. A sneaking suspicion everybody has had about the Metal King. But we will- or the Metal Collector. The Metal Man, whatever you prefer to call him. And we just got... Ba -da 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 -da, beacon Zoom. Now we can zoom to Beacons. 
So basically, uh, if you get to the bottom of the uh, Traveler's Gate, there's a beacon, and if you touch that beacon, you can then zoom to it at any time, which means you now no longer have to beat the boss and everything. You can get to the very bottom, warp out, and then enter there again and warp straight back to the very bottom. Oh my, what a cute little monster scout you are. This is the entrance of the Great Trees Arena. I wonder if the ground will look blurry if you try to get up close to it. I know the kingdom of Great Trees is just that big. I know it all too well. Oh, I might sort of, but Messi won't be getting through here on air. As the night turn approaches, everyone get ready by decorating down below here. Because they're only happy to watch in a while, everyone's doing their best to make a special rock down in the last minute. <laughs> Scouting masters gather in the arena to do battle, all of them have a gold mine to win the tournament. Oh, I'm the greatest! Take, take, take! I sure am getting anxious for these matches to begin. Are you also beginning, Monster Miss Scout? You should head towards the back of the arena. You'll find lots of useful advice. Freshly rolled rice bowl, baby! And there's nothing more delicious. Me hungry! Hum nom nom. Have you stopped in the tavern yet, boy? Be careful not to get drink too much in there. Uh, I'm a child. Why am I drinking? Guy over the tavern is the rival of mine. I have a Shirley given as I made from over there. You think I'm a good scout? Well, I got some good advice anyway, so always be careful of scouts from other countries inside of your tavern gates. I don't like those sneaky, weak little guys in there. I made my way up to the reception desk. Did you see the bunnies over there? Did you see them too? Something is bugging me about them. They got the bunny girls all wrong this time. Completely preposterous. A grandmother wearing the bunny girl outfit. Scissors, rock, scissors, paper, scissors, that bump throws out so many scissors. I won't scream. I think you're an excellent scout, but I'm not sure about how you do against it. Mm -hmm. Scissors, rock, scissors, paper, scissors. That's some good information he just gave us. You wanna know why? We gotta beat this guy. Won't you play a game of rock, paper, scissors with me? Yes. Alright, let's go. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock! Dang, one more time. One more time! See, that guy gave us the exact solution we needed. Oh, you're too good! I suppose you've earned your win. Feel free to use the stairs behind me at any time. We won rock, paper, scissors! And we have met the Queen of Great Tree. Hail with us is the Queen of Great Tree. Today is the Queen's esteemed guest is Master Mickey Mouse. You should go visit the Sorry Shrine and come back to see her when you can. It's the Queen of Great Tree. I absolutely adore monsters. So it appears you haven't gone to the Sorry Shrine yet. Come see me later. Her name's Mickey. Are you another one of my adoring fans? You've never heard of me. Ha ha ha! So you're just another rookie monster scout then. 
Though it seems you might just be a bit behind at the rest of the scouts I've met. You haven't even gotten access to the Starry Shrine yet. That's the only way to achieve your full potential. Oh, by the way, and bam! We have unlocked one of the hidden ways. Anyway, back to what we were doing over here. Have you met the Queen yet? I heard the Queen likes to give out rewards to people who fulfill her requests. The statue is the shape of the Great Tree Spirit Courtney! How about those Komodo dragons? Okay. The healing touch. Da da da. Da na 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 na. The way down is blocked, but I can't stand being up here any longer. I I started constructing this ladder. Feel free to use it when I'm done. This guy literally couldn't wait, so he built a ladder. Medals. He must go now. His people need him. Arr, oh, I forgot you want about your next G-Class opponent. Sure. But the G-Class Final Max, the principal of the Monster Scout. Guide me as your uh, opponent. Take particular caution while fighting against your walking corpse. Perhaps you have an easy time fighting and bring on that nose poison breath. Hope you find a rock bomb. It's a little bit more well behaved. I hope you find when you find one, it's a bit more well behaved than mine. So you just got to be better. Rumble, rumble, me won't go boom. Ah, welcome, this is the arena. Hmm, who am I, you ask? I'm the famous lady of the arena. Not just a bunny girl, I'm bunny granny. Oh, ha, ha. You want to win the Starry Night Tournament, right? I see, so you want to find your sister instead. In that case, you have to conquer the arena and represent the kingdom. Classes, those are the things you'll find in the arena. So, will you try your hand? A G class. Stay focused in there and good luck. Bunny granny is, uh, rooting for you. We don't want to uh, disappoint a bunny granny now, do we? Do you want to disappoint a bunny granny? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming. The G-Class bouts are about to begin. A new challenger has entered the arena. His name is Damien. Let's all give him a warm welcome. Now get ready for the first match. Let the battle begin!
Why my monsters are missing, I don't know. The first match goes to the challenger! Moving on, then the second match begins now. It's 8 o'clock. Do you know where your monsters are? Yes, they're fighting in the arena! I did a dumb and forgot to give Healy the heal ability. So, actually, having Healy here is the worst. Second match goes to the challenger! Moving on then, let's start the third and final match. I am the principal of the Scout Academy. If you manage to win against me, you'll have consequent G class. Spooky, scary, ghosty bends and shivers down your spine. Love how we had more trouble with the first fighter than not the last. Congratulations on conquering the G-Class, a new hero in the making. So I guess you could say we just took the G-Spot. Let's give a big round of applause for Scout Damien! Well done, you've conquered the G-Class. Ah, Damien, congratulations on conquering the G-Class this match. See, I summoned you. Please follow me. Ah, Damien, I heard you've conquered the G-Class. Well done, you are by far. What? Why, if it isn't the King of Great Tree, what's put you in such a good mood? Oh, it's you. In any case, you are the Starry Night Tournament host kingdom this time. Ah ha ha, as the host, I hope you don't embarrass yourself in battle. What's this? This is an unusual place for children, is it not? Are you here to play with your king? Well, I am the King of Great Log. So, Great Tree. You must be feeling very confident if you're wasting time playing around with children. I suppose I should be looking forward to winning the Starry Night Tournament. <laughs> oh, that brazen whippersnapper, Greylog! Just wait and see what happens. Damien, you've still got a long way to go to improve your skills as a monster scout. It's your reward for prevailing in the G-Class. I've opened the long, the logging gate and protection gate downstairs. 
I hold even stronger monsters and should surely be an essential part of your skill training. Now that I am very busy, so if you'll excuse me. Busy, 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 busy. A longing gate and protection gate up in Traveler's Gate's rooms in the basement. Before you go, you should prepare in the Town Square shops, press the arena. In the Town Square, there's a weapon shop, an item shop, and a bank where you can deposit your gold. By using the shops and growing in strength in the Traveler's Gate, you'll advance through the classes of the arena. Once you're recognized at the arena, at the arena as our kingdom's representative, you can enter the Starry Night Tournament. Left or right? Which gate? Left or right? The protection gate. Recommended party star three. We've got a party star ranking of two. Throw caution to the wind. Small fry in an army, Anthony. Dang. I think we need some more levels. You're a heartbreaker, dream maker. Probably should have looked at the ratings of each of these, because we're definitely in for a world of hurt. It's a capuchin! Capsicum! Of course it's fun! And at least this early in the game, we should be fine. No matter what level. Fortunately for you, that has been encapsulated forever on the Twitches. You know what the best part is? Would never have read it and noticed if he didn't say anything. Only a month. Mm. 
You did notice. Skills canceling each other out. Epic. What'd you think of that? <laughs> I completely forgot that was a thing in this game. You didn't notice? So our slime was casting frizz on the capsicum that was also casting frizz on our slime. So because they were both casting the same spell on the same person, uh, the two spells hit in midair and uh negated each other. It's a very interesting feature.
Like, damn. Nobody wants to, like, join my party here. They're mean. Well, this is what happens when you have weak monsters here. <laughs> Apparently all my luck has gone into Pokemon lately. We've gotten, what, three Master Balls in that game now? Plus, in the failed first recording, we got one right off the bat, too. So that's four Master Balls. A pretty go-go. Go-go like the go-go? You quoted that, like, the other day. I think Zero might be the last one you did. As in, if you did a new quote right now, Code Zero would be that new one. I believe. from so long ago. Uh-huh. Vampire the Masquerade. That was the quote, by the way, the other day that I was literally lining up for you to do, but you were so out of it and tired. That I just was whoosh. No worries.
Good old bully. Because damn! Proud of that one. Yeah, I don't remember the context for that one. <laughs> Probably, but I don't remember. Oh, speaking of about if theme for tonight's, uh, music night. Yep, there's a theme now. <laughs> And that theme is between 2002 and 2013 music only. <laughs> yeah! I figure throwing in a theme every now and then. Would make it interesting. I figure we're gonna get a lot of emo, though. Emo, grunge, green day. I thought of the theme after watching that guy's video that he just released. ourselves a female ant. Better than our slimmerin. No memory of this. I believe yeah, but I got no memory of this. Oh, look at this fluffy coffin cotton boy. His name is Feral Ball. So what Monster Meat does is give you a guaranteed percent start.
Awesome, we got him at 55.5%. I say I see you sent me the thunderclap again. Did you ever put that on, uh, YouTubes, by the way? It's still two. Do it. You're 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 in charge of your own stuff on YouTube. So Going in long. Well, actually, hold on. We're gonna go into longing. I know you wanted us to go into the right, but I'm not necessarily prepared. What's the shock face for? Like we were kind of struggling a little bit. I mean, but you knew that, so. Swarm Troopers. I love Swarm Troopers. I love multi-hit enemies like this. They're amazing for hunting, uh, metals. Alright, 
so we're here to just collect everything, kill everything, murder everything, and just level up a little bit. But it's down. Well then you should definitely make a clip compilation. You know how much people love Twitch compilations. Go for it. Enjoy to your heart's content. And it sounds like it's a project that you actually would be really excited to work on too. So that's like a double bonus. Oh, hey, look, it's a cruel cumber. Sad, there's nothing around. We wanted loot, loot, loot. Come on.
So, what's your opinion of this game so far? Combining the old with the new with the super new. Yeah, you like it? I mean, you can't say obviously. You could, for some, you could, you know, not like it, and that's within your uh, right, you know. Cruel cum. Look, it's our cruel cum. Even the ant guzzler is adorable. I'll remember that. I'd say get it for your 3DS, but uh, it's in Japanese only. But if you got yourself stitch up, cough, and a translated ROM, cough, cough, that something called Google can help you find and get. Cough. Uh, I'm sorry, I seem to have gotten a bad case of the, uh, pirate cough. It's like scurvy, except for you just cough about pirating things. Arr, matey. Like, uh, you know, it's not like I wouldn't buy this game in a heartbeat if it came out in America. Cough! I'm curious about something. Well, can't check now. Now I can. You can psych up, you can't. You can. To break wind. Arr, my favorite defensive technique. Break wind. <laughs> Arr, excuse me, matey. I seem to have broke wind. Yate, we broke the sound clap barrier. Mm. 
wind blower. Blower of the wind, mighty. Hmm. The shading is broken here, as you can see. That's not that big of a deal, yo. Right, we got something for beating them, but I mashed so fast. Ah, oh, we got a medicinal herb. You know what's really funny? When I'm Earlier today, I was uh, recording Binding of Isaac. Goes up, you know, two weeks from tomorrow. Yesterday. Tomorrow. Two weeks from yesterday. Uh, and I did something, and I didn't catch it. I immediately look over to my right monitor as if I'm streaming to see what I missed. And I'm like, oh, wait. I'm not streaming. <laughs> I do that in Pokemon, too. I'm just mashing through things sometimes, and I realize I forgot something. I look to the right to see what I missed, and I'm like, ah! Bad streaming habits, yo. It just means I'm used to looking over here to check things out, either chat or, like, if I happen to miss something. Neither bad, neither good. Just a habit. I was just thinking earlier, there's so many games I want to stream coming up soon. Like, uh, I've been watching, uh, RPG Limit Break. They released a bunch of their, uh, well, they just had a, uh, uh, a streaming, um, what, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Not show, but they had a, um, I don't know what you would call it, but, um, they, uh, event, that's the word I'm looking for. They just had an event, and, um, one of the games in it was, uh, Chrono Trigger. And I really want to stream Chrono Trigger. I have Chrono Trigger. But I also really want to stream its, uh, sequel. Which a lot of people don't know it has a sequel. And a lot of people who know that it does have a sequel like to pretend it doesn't have a sequel. It's not that good, from what I've heard. And I've seen the speedrun of it. It's... very different. Not to the point that I wouldn't play it. Like, I still want to play it, you know, and give it a chance. But a lot of people really don't like it. And I want to play it. I want to play both games. Unfortunately, there's not a updated game of it. Like, I have Chrono Trigger, the... I think it's the DS version on Steam. But there's no Steam version of Chrono Cross. It's 
on the PS2. So I could look for a copy of it. I've been looking for an excuse to set up my PS2 over here as well. I don't know where I would fit that in. Thursdays are taken, Fridays are taken, Saturdays are taken, Sundays are taken, Mondays are taken for the next year, Tuesdays are taken, Wednesdays are taken for the, at least the next four months. Nothing fits. And I'm pretty sure I know what game... Pretty sure I know what game I want to do next. In terms of, uh... Wednesday, too. Call me a glutton for punishment. This is gonna hurt. It's okay. Once we get to the next floor, there'll be a full heal for us, so we'll have our party back, so... Like I said, that's the nice thing this game has. for treasure chests, to be honest. Sadly, it seems we're just SOL constantly. Oh, there should be new enemies on the bottom floor, so let's see what we got. So see how creative you can be sometimes in might have when I don't spring it on you like I need a name now. <laughs> don't doubt yourself. 
I know I surprised you, but you got some real creative names, yo. Yep. Sounds about accurate. Let's see, what's it got? Whoosh and zap. Zap ward. <laughs> Magic skirt. Magic skirt skirt. He's got the ability to match it. Skirt skirt. Looks like it's time to heal up and go fight the b -b boss of this area.
Ah! Hero, thou hast come to rescue me, surely. I'm so happy. Now, wouldst thou kindly carry me back to the castle? Damien took the princess into his arms, but he isn't strong enough to lift her! It's quite alright, little hero. Thou art yet a child. And that must be why thou cannot lift me. Surely thou must agree. Ah, oh, then I shall await someone slightly larger. Who disturbs my Gwaylin? How dare you trying to steal my Gwaylin? Know now that you are worthy of death. Killed him by breaking his heart. Some may call me harsh, but I did what I must. What strength to suffer defeat is too much for words. To ease the pain, I shall join thou on thine journey. Thou could not lift Princess Quailene. <laughs> it is a pity. He shall come back when thou hast grown bigger. For now, though, let's head back. Ding, ding, spinny, what? Ah, uh, Damien, thou hast, I mean, you have defeated the Grim Dragon. Your deeds as a legendary hero will be handed down for all eternity! That's a bit much! Tee hee 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 hee. Ha 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 ha, I gotta be carried away, didn't I? Still, I remain in your debt once more, Damien. Don't forget to use the shops in the bank. I'm busy, so if you'll excuse me. Busy, busy, busy. Bum, 
Why, you're a new face around here, Sonny. Ahead of you is the Great Tree Town. You leave the square and go down where the library and bizarre grounds will be there. Okay. Hello, Panty Ray. Panty Ray. Essentials of fortune telling. Stars have great influence over the future of fortune telling. Experts must read stars' movements. So that some monsters devote themselves to the stars' power and have the ability to predict victories or defeat. I'm the fortune telling granny. Shall I read your future? Hmm. The time has come for you to be acknowledged by the strongest scouts in the kingdom. Rude little girl will help you in her own way to discover a new and previously inaccessible traveler's gate. A rude little girl, eh? Through the passageway next to this house lies the alleyway leading to the old town, but as great tree has grown, that neighborhood has been blocked and left behind entirely. We all want to help those living back there, but nobody knows just how to get back there again. Are you a rude little bitch? Every night I can hear the cries of a small child resonating from the back alley. When the town was divided by great trees' branches, I could no longer access that part of town. I wonder if they're all safe. Got some salt that smell. Are you a rude little girl? Now that you've come all this way, you might as well stop in at the shops and have a look around yourself. Okay. I like just being a vandal, just running around and just kick. Kick. When you wipe out against monster, you lose half your gold. So go to the bank. Or just spend all your money. Well, um, this is the RM shop. Rapier. Don't forget to equip the weapons that you buy. Oh, you might be about time to get any decorations right here for the tournament and whatnot. <laughs> Secret of the Great Tree. There were several countries that built themselves upon overgrown trees. They figured the trees would die far beyond their lifetimes, so the countries continued to grow. One country floor failed to nourish their tree. It is now known as Dead Tree. For the tree fully withered, it spread its seeds in the hopes of creating new kingdoms. It is often said when a star falls from the sky that one of the G's trees is newly born. Good evening, no wait, is it still dead time daytime? I'm the doctor's assistant. And his grandmother. Teehee! I am a genius scholar researching monsters, not only that, I am also a top-notch scout. Since I am very busy, you better not interrupt me again. My monster research. After the- at last, after many years of research, I have made a great discovery that a certain monster skill seems to have unexpected when used. But I can't explain this. It's the old lady's dentures! Lysol! Bleach! Lysol! Run away screaming. Bye! <laughs> what is it, you weirdo? Oh, you're a scout? Eh, whatever. I found a rude little girl. Hey, 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 
Yeah, we look at it. Finally, can finish constructing the ladder. Take it back up to the arena. Feel free to use it. Why would I do that? I'm already down here. Get out of here, boy. Betty's on my knee. I ain't never gonna let her go. Blimey, my beautiful little Betty. What are you waiting for? Get out of here before I start seeing red. Lambert is such a magnificent building, and the people inside are quite knowledgeable as well. Yeah. A mediasinal herb. Now, oh, young scout, walk under the bazaar grounds. Welcome to the item shop. What do you got for me, bud? As you walk safely on dangerous terrain. Interesting. When shopping at a store, press the Y button to see the description of the item you're looking at. Yes, yes, I am well aware. Blimey, why can't you keep this freaking fire? Sorry, oi. Let's get yourself a boss and go breathe fire. Bro, what? Yeah, I've why? Crikey, let me buy for a minute. Let me get this fire going. All right now, I'll buy your green dragon for a bit. So in the first game, you gave him a monster, right? Like this now, blind me. It'd be fire with you, always oh, might. And you never got it back. You gave your monster to them, and it disappeared afterwards. Oh, I have there was probably the old dang grill got back to a crease. Looks like there was travel. Get hidden under there, too. Well, mate, for your troubles, feel free to go in. We're not going to. This is well beyond our levels. But, uh, now we don't lose our monster. We had grills out. It was the top of a traveling gate. Oh, shine. We'll go in there later. Well, neither of them were rude little girls, so... May your shopkeep over there stuff, he won't sell nothing to little me. You got monster eggs and other kinds of fascinating trinkets for sale. A scout, your only child. Ah, I only serve scouts who have participated in the Wi-Fi ranked battles. Well, that doesn't help me. That don't help me none at all. Welcome, this is the library. We got an archive. What's an archive? With that, you can view your archive anytime from the menu screen. It lies information about monsters found in traveler's gates. Ah, oh, okay. How many monsters are you prepared? Oh, you've had 12? You're an apprentice. Are you using meat? This is where the important books are kept. If you have a hundred types of monsters as friends, I'll let you look inside. Okay. You can walk inside if you befriend all the monsters. Monsters. I 
Have you heard? No. I heard somewhere nearby you can breed monsters to make stronger monsters. And you need to talk to the monster Grandpappy. Growth up comes quickly for those monsters caught inside the Traveler's Gate. That's what this book says that I borrowed from the library. And what does it mean? It means breed them, you numb skull. Like you should breed with that female next to you. Sorry, I trying to such a sacred place, but because you're not strong enough, I can't let you pass. Try and get a bit stronger. Like you've defeated F class. <laughs> Etc. Doesn't they even actually tell me everything in there. Unless I actually have to, like, be there. Ooh, this is actually really nice. It tells you all of the things you've encountered. That's really nice. And this tells you all the skills, too. Actually, hold on. What's that in action word? Uh, an action guard, able ambusher, nice. And of course, as you remember from the last time we played, every time you jump into a Traveler's Gate, completely different. Randomly generated, yo. Banana, 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 banana. These people like bananas. I'm naming it this for you, emotive. I'm glad you do.
That's a rock. It's not just a boulder. It's a rock. Names. Well, you said boulder, and I'm just like, what? I'm like, you misspelled boulder, and then you did that, and I was like, ah, yes. I had to wait for your catching to- your typing to catch up. I'd like to point out that there's an ant broken right there. Because it was just slightly off screen, the. S <laughs> this. <laughs> I'm breaking things and it only amuses me, so I'll shush. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it, so. But it could be wrong. In the original is gone. All the capsicum. Oh god! Maybe I should just pronounce it like that monkey's name. Capuchin. They're Capuchin. They're Capuchin. What's really great about this game is you can save right here if you really wanted to. So you can save scum bosses if you really wanted to.
Uh, we'll probably call this one a little early, too. Um... Just, actually, the timing's gonna work out just right, too, so... I mean, it's still gonna end, like, in, like, 15, 20 minutes-ish. Look at that pretty moon. Oh, Bagel laughs, yo. Are you having a bag of laughs yet? Goal. why I check all these dead ends even if we've got nothing in them so far is because they could have items in them. You know, we gotta collect them all. DQM. <laughs> gotta catch them all, Dragon Quest Monsters. DQM. Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. Oh, yeah. I still really wanted... Oh, the sale restarted again for these Pokemon Crystal Pokeballs. You know what's really funny about that? I actually saw it on a YouTube ad. I really wanted the... Oh, but there's no Murkrow. They have all the fan favorites, but not my favorite. I mean, you don't have to do that one. I could just get the plain crystal ball for like 50. Heck, if I wanted the stand, that's only 80, but yeah, no, I know. Like I said, I'm not gonna buy it. I said I want it, not I'm going to get it. <laughs> I don't know, I'll find an artsy person. To make me a stand. I could easily make something. My Vaporeon fell over, I had to sit her back up. Oh no, Espeon was kind of our MVP when we played Pokemon XD Gales of Darkness and Pokemon XD Coliseum, or Pokemon Coliseum, remember. Kicking ass.
Damn it, that's the right way to go. the real question. Do we want to explore down there? Uh, I haven't been getting lots of items. Uh, nah, it's fine though. I just complaining. Smoked meat. Oh, it's so smoky. This one will definitely take a little bit longer than Joker's did. Joker's 1, 2, and Dragon Quest Monsters 1 and 2. There's a lot more to do. They actually kind of gave it a slight bigger story, like... There's more to do. More to see, explore... Uh, the levels are a lot more compelling to spend time in. You know, like, everything looks pretty. So, like, you're gonna spend time exploring the floors instead of being like, Alright, I'm in a potential, you know, 16 grid box. We're gonna go until we find the black hole and jump down. Now you can take your time. You know there's gonna be a heal at the bottom. You know that you can just zip to the bottom if you just rush through it, and then you can take your time later. There's like a whole lot more for you in this game. <laughs> and also, monster recruiting is not like uber random of, I got a sirloin on it, it might join us. Now you can see if it's going to join you or not. You know? Ideally, the well will be right there. Nice. Now I can easily just pop over, heal, and then pop down to the ba 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 ba
Yay! Yep, it's Gollum. Yeet! Oh, yay! Where'd you get it for? From? I want you to halt, you know. I don't want you to pass, you know. Why, I'm a golem, so I am the protector of this town, you know. I'ma smash you, you know. Ah, nice. Two thousand two to twenty thirteen. Eh, you can do 2000 to 2013. That's fine. You're strong, you know. From now on, I'd rather be your protector, you know. That town is just an illusion dreamt up by the golem, you know. So you won't be able to go inside and explore, you know. For now, let's head back to the castle. You know. The name's Golem, you know. Ah, Damien, so you defeated the golem, you know. Even with that small, fragile frame, you handily defeated such a giant brute. Why, it is said a golem could fall off a city just by lying down in front of it. That's a bit much. Ah ha ha, I got carried away, didn't I? Still, I remain in your debt once more, Damien. Don't forget to use the shops and banks. I'm very busy, so if you'll excuse me, busy, 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 busy. Jano There we go. Dana 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 Dana
Yo, a mini metal. That gives us three to give him. That puts us at four. One more and we get the aha spear. Well, let's uh, do a little bit of aha exploring. See if we can't get ourselves another uh, couple. Buy us an aha ha ha spear. Let's see, we haven't been up to the monster farm in a while. Maybe there's some pots to smish. Smoosh. Smish. Splosh. Aha! I'm on a bad farm bill of my strength. Hello there, little scout. Have you heard about monster eggs? Ah, they're eggs that monsters are born from. Oh. Cool. When a scout befriends more monsters, only then will the door unlock. Oh. So if you go here, you can see some of the monsters that you befriended. It's a nice little cool thing where you can actually see your monsters. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> cool feature. And over here, you can see uh, larger monsters. Also, this sky dragon up here. Flat-chested Damien is hit. Flat-chested? Why did it say flat-chested? Oh god, that killed our frames like a thousand billion percent. Poor Damien, he's flat-chested. Danger above! Uh, you can look up, by the way. Not as fancy as being flat chested. This game. This is what happens when you have fan translations of things. There's actually been several uh, typing errors in this game already. I've just been ignoring them. I believe I pointed them out in my first playthrough on the tubes last year. Like, there's one at the very beginning of the game in which you're talking to the king and he's got like an exclamation point, the number three and the number seven. Or something along those lines. Right, right, right. The fun thing is, every time you leave and come back from uh, a Traveler's Gate, all the pots refresh. They're, uh potential for our contents. I don't know if it does if you just leave the room or not, but you know what? Mm, let's go outside the battle arena real quick. It kind of took us close to where we wanted to be, so I took that as the next best thing. But well, we're gonna go get that aha spear. Grinding for this is going to be a lot more uh, tedious than grinding for everything else we've done. You got an aha spear! Thank you, Metal King. When we get 10, we get the acorn, baby!
Chance to inflict. Aha! Ah, it's okay. Joker 3 will be the more annoying one to do, but we'll get there later. But that is where we're gonna leave it off. We got a good head start. So, um, yeah. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And we'll pick up again with this next week. So, until then, everybody. Stay funky, people.